In this next session of the visualization training, we're going to create a triangulation that combines both the survey data and our road design, and then we're going to drape the raster that we brought in in the last session onto our triangulation. So we start by creating a new view, view, create, plan view, and just call it polys, create. On this view, turn on the model road one polys. Now these polygons were created when we did our design apply apply many. If I call up the function road one, you'll notice that on the models tab, 12D automatically creates a model called road one polys. Uh, and in this model, it incorporates all of our polygons for each of the different links. Also take note in our apply function that we've set our section separation to one meter to give the smoothest possible uh, drive down the road and visualization experience. If I finish on that, I just zoom in on an area here. You'll notice that 12D automatically created polygons for our lip of curb, so for our road surface, for our road shoulder, for our footpath, and then for the areas of fill and the areas of cut. And it also created one polygon that wraps all the way around the entire job or an interface polygon. So we're going to use this interface polygon now to cut out the data, the survey data inside of our road so that we can then lay down our road strings and sections and retriangulate the data. So if I go back into my rasters view and I'll just turn off my road sections and strings and my raster and just leave on the survey data at the moment. Just do a redraw. Okay, so we go to utilities, fence, fence. So our data that we want to fence will be all the data on view rasters. The polygon to fence, we're just going to use the interface polygon And we're not interested in the data inside, we're only interested in the data outside of our fence. And we'll call this survey DTM outside. We click on fence. 12D will then validate the polygon and systematically remove all the data. <coughs> Once it's finished, you can click on finish and turn off all of our survey models and just turn on the model survey DTM outside and you'll see that we're left with all of our survey data outside of where the polygon would have run, the interface polygon. So if we then turn back on our road design sections and strings you'll see they'll fit neatly inside of that gap. We can now triangulate this data we go to tins, create, triangulate data and we'll give it a function name and we will call it tin combined. We'll call our triangulation combined and by hitting enter we'll automatically fill in the name tin combined for us for the model. We'll give it a new tin color which we'll give it something that we know we're not going to use in our uh, mapping at the moment, our render mapping. So I'm going to use the color color bond. Our data will be all the data on view number one, on view rasters. And our null polygon, we're just going to use this string, boundary string that runs all the way around the outside of our data. If I hit triangulate on that and finish, we can turn on the model tin combined and you can see it's now a triangulation that incorporates both the survey data and our road design. Probably a better way to look at it would be in our perspective view. So if I just turn off our road one sections and strings, turn on tin combined, and once again go for a drive down the road. Just stop here. You can see our triangulation incorporates the road surface and then up into the natural surface. And it's probably a little bit easier to see if we turn on our shading. 
There we go. Now what we're looking at here isn't part of the visualization module, it's actually just part of the base 12D model. <coughs> it's only when we start to apply textures and road furniture that we're getting into visualization. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drape the, the raster onto our tri this triangulation that we have here. So to do that we simply go to view, visualization, tin render settings. Under our tin render settings we select the tin that we're going to apply this to which will be our combined tin and all we're interested in is at the moment is the model for the rasters which is called rasters. If I hit set on that and then do a redraw on our perspective view we can see that the raster has been draped onto our triangulation. Just finish on that. Continue our drive. Now it's not that easy to see at the moment. It would be a lot easier if we just showed the differential between the, the road surface and the natural surface. So ordinarily we probably wouldn't need to do this but I'll just do it to make it a little bit easier to see. We just go to tins, colour, colour within a polygon and we'll select our tin combined and we're just going to give it a new colour and we'll make it a colour grey. Our polygon, once again we'll select our interface polygon and just hit colour. 12D once again will validate the polygon, make sure that there's no problems in it and will then colour all the triangles inside of that polygon to a colour of grey. If I go back to my perspective view now, we can now easily see a differential between the natural surface and our road design. We continue our drive down the road. <coughs> 